Many years after others had caller ID, finally we got it. Well, we didn't have it for the longest because I didn't pay for it. And then I got a deal. When I got that deal, I was so excited. Caller ID. And I did like some of you. Sometimes I don't answer the phone. Now, I'll answer it if it's you. I'll answer it if I know who it is. But if it's, well, you know, all the many, many, many folks that call you up and kind of the charity groups and uh, some businesses, I just let it ring. And now I've got a phone, and if I hit a little button, it says call block. I like that because then when they call back, I'm not even bothered with a ring. That's okay. But there is a call that we had better answer. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 14, to this he called you through our gospel. No, it's not a telephone, but it's still a calling. And it's not a business, it's not some charitable organization. He called you through our gospel. This is God's call. Now, sometimes I get some calls, you don't get them. You get some calls, and I don't get them. This call, we all receive, and we can be so thankful for that. But have you, have you answered that call? And how do we answer it? It's to believe it to turn from our sins, to confess our faith, to be baptized for forgiveness of sins. That's how we answer that call. A lot have not answered, sadly. Some have blocked. But what about you? If we could assist you with obedience tonight, if there's a need for us to pray for you, if you need to come, please come as we stand and sing.